Hello. Hi. How, how have you been? I'm fine. How are you doing? Please come on in. We've been well. Good, good. How does it feel being back on campus after the pandemic? Well, uh, this is actually my first time here because I joined Habib University in the middle of the pandemic in the fall of 2020. So my first semesters here were an, on an online teaching, but it feels great anyway because I love to see my students and my colleagues' faces, not only during classes, but also around campus. All right, so how has Habib been treating you so far? Uh, amazing. I have absolutely no complaints. I love Habib, I love the students, and I am really thankful for the opportunity to teach here. Speaking of students, how was your first class at Habib like? Well, as I told you, I joined Habib during the pandemic. So my first class was in August 2020. Uh, it was the, on the online mode. Uh, I was still in Brazil because my flight to Karachi was cancelled. So it was like 6 a.m. in the morning in Brazil wow. in a Monday. <laughs> Uh, I was really nervous and really anxious, but also very excited. And I think this is a moment of my life that I will never forget. My first class at Habib. All right. Is there any faculty member you'd like to switch places with for a day? Well, definitely. I think I would like to be Dr. Uh, Mr. Afzal Saab because he's a poet and I love poetry. I think I would be, I would like to be in his place one day. All right, um, so next question. One thing you'd want to do if you were a student? Well, I think if I were a student at Habib University, I would take courses on language like Punjabi or Sindhi because I love learning new languages. Okay, what is one student habit that you dislike? Okay, during online teaching, I didn't really like when students refuse to turn their cameras on because it's very disorienting to teach to a screen. And in the in-person teaching, actually both in the in-person and online teaching, I don't like when students do not show interest, when, do not, when they do not raise questions or when they do not make comments about the assigned readings. I like to know that they are participating. All right, what's one student habit that you do like? Uh, I really like whenever students show me that they are trying to go beyond what we have learned in class. So for example, whenever a student tells me, hey professor, I read this very interesting book that relates to what we have learned, or I watched this movie, or I watched this documentary that explains in further detail what we have covered in class, this is something that is very rewarding to me because it shows students that they are actually interested in the subject and they are not doing that just to fulfill uh, uh, academic obligations. Okay, um, so how would you describe the student-faculty relationship at Habib? Well, it has uh, problems and also good moments just like in any other university in the world. But I do think that at Habib such problems, uh, uh, that Habib provides us with tools and with encouragement to overcome these problems. Either because of the office hours in which we can have uh, 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 meetings with students and overcome any kind of problems, or in the monthly meetings or the, in the student townhouse that we have every month. All these are very good or very important tools to overcome any kind of, uh, how can you say, of conflicts that may arise between students and faculty. All right, so what was your final year at university like? Uh, would you mind if I fill up my bottle? Oh yeah, <laughs> sure, go ahead. Yeah, so my final year at Habib, uh, sorry, at a, as, a, as an undergraduate student was a mixture of happiness and fear. I was happy, not really happy, I was thankful for uh, accomplishing uh, 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 an education as a university student, but I was also a bit scared of my future because I was afraid that I wouldn't get a job. Coincidence or not, I graduated on the same year when Habib University was found, so perhaps things were meant to be. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Professor. It was my pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye.